Mr. Hope. Hey, now, wait a minute. Cut out that Mr. Hope stuff. Hmm. Um, let's see, your highness? No, no, no. I'm just one of the guys. Your lowness. <laughs> Call me by my surname. Um, Sir Hope. Close enough. John Doe, will you go out and play in the traffic? Play in the traffic? What a great idea for an act. I'll do it. Boy, he'll be a smash on the freeway. <laughs> Hey, Bob, you know, we were so thrilled to be on your Christmas special uh, that I, for one, am speechless. Kermit the Frog speechless? Mm -hmm. You must have a person in your throat. <laughs> well, listen, I've been looking forward to meeting your gang. Oh, well, then let me, uh, allow me to proceed with the intros. Uh, first off, here he is, that punster, funster, that son of a gunster, our own resident, uh, comedian, Mr. Fozzie Bear! Hey, 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 Good crowd. Hey, all right, yeah. Good evening, ladies and hope. Wait a second. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, my uncle fell off a 13-foot scaffold and got killed. What was he doing up there? Getting hanged. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Someday you'll be a good comic or a terrific rug. Gotcha. Bye. <laughs> <sighs> what a terrible idea for an act. Uh, 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 oh. It's really great meeting you guys, I think. But isn't there somebody missing? Uh, really? Who? Yeah, you know, your prima hammerina. <laughs> All right, yes, Miss Piggy. Uh, well, she appears to be a little bit late. Oh, oh, Robert! <laughs> you may call it late, but we in the theater call it an entrance. <laughs> uh, Miss Piggy. Oh, oh. Miss Piggy, it's an honor. You may kiss my ring. Really? Oh, it's very pretty. Thank you. It uh, <clears throat> comes from an admirer. Yeah, I got it from Tiffany's. Tiffany's? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Oh, probably Cartier. No, no, I don't think so. Oh, uh, Van Cleef and Arpels. A tri Steuben. <laughs> <clears throat> Bob, or as we say in the showbiz, mm, Bobby Baby. Uh, in keeping with the Yuletide season, May I be the first to give you a Christmas present? You certainly may. What is it? <gasps> me! Oh, hold me! Watch the hand, but hold me! Oh. Oh. Hey, what oh. the hey? Boy, that's an awfully nice present, Miss Piggy, but a wallet would have been enough. Either way, he gets pigskin. Yeah. <laughs> Are you watching, El Toto? <laughs> Roberto, Roberto, I, I wish to team up with you. Oh, I can just see our names up in lights. Miss Piggy and friend. Look, well, Piggy, I've been a ham longer than you have. Anyway, I thought you were Kermit's girl. Uh, uh, it, it, it's okay, Bob. Don't worry about Kermit. I only have eyes for you. Don't worry, Kermit. This is just for my career. I really like you. <laughs> How do you like that? She's got two faces to go with that double chin. <laughs> You're on thin ice, Hope. Uh, Bob, you know, it would be a tremendous shock for the Muppets and for me personally if you were to take Miss Piggy away from us. Oh. Uh, but I'll throw in five bucks to sweeten the deal. Oh, that's different. I didn't realize we were talking big money. You, uh, you want to sweeten the deal? Well, sweeten this. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Now, uh, Bobby Baby, will you take me with you? But what about the Muppets? We'll form our own group, the Hopets. <laughs> get all the loyalty of a fly. But before I go taking on a new partner, what are your show business credentials? Well, Roberto, <clears throat> I was in the national company of Pygmalion. I think I saw that play in Bacon Rouge, Louisiana. I do the pig jokes around here. She is the pig joke around here. <laughs> I will ignore that. I, I'm waiting for your answer, Bob. Will you take me with you? Okay, it's a deal. You're oh, coming with me. Oh, Roberto, I'm so excited. Yes, yes. Ah, ah. Oh, way to go, Piggy. Go out there and break a hoof. All right, Miss Piggy. I want you to go home and get packed. Oh, yes, good, good. And be sure to take along a steam iron. <laughs> a steam iron? What for? 
Well, to press my cummerbund before the show. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a wrinkled cummerbund. <laughs> and make sure you take a shoe shine kit. My mucklucks need constant attention. But I am a performer. Oh, you'll have lots of duties to perform. And don't forget a squeegee, a set of dishes, and a toaster for my Pop-Tart, because on the road, you never know when you might want to pop a tart. <laughs> but, but I don't. And I love my floor squeaky clean, so bring a squeaker and also some rags, a pail, and some detergent. I don't do floors. I am a Muppet. <laughs> From now on, you're a Muppet. <laughs> From now on, you're in big trouble. Hi! Oh, <laughs> my plum pudding. Oh. The, the act is off! <laughs> uh, uh, tell me something, Mr. Hope. Uh, you did that for us, didn't you? Well... Uh, you didn't want to break us up, did you, Mr. Hope? No, I didn't. Uh, couldn't you have wanted to just a little? <laughs> but that's what makes the Muppets to me. All of you, you're a great team. You should be together. Uh, that's the nicest Christmas present you could have given us. Hey, Miss Piggy, everybody. Come on up, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Look, I didn't mean all of those things, Miss Piggy. I just wanted you to stay together. And it was my way of saying, have yourself a merry little Christmas. If the fate so now hang a shining star above the highest bough.